Welcome back. So, after the Van Gogh video, my friend Ethan, who you may recognise from rating my plushies, or if you listen to Fort Sessions, please listen to Fort Sessions, you will recognise him as the other part of the musical duo. He messaged me asking if I could try and recreate the art of a particular mangaka. Junji Ito. For those of you who don't know Junji Ito, he's a mangaka, which means he draws manga, creates manga, and his is specifically in the horror genre, which is a genre that I definitely used to read when I was about 14, 15. However, nowadays my, um, my uh, interests realm more into cheesy romances, so. But I thought, you know what? He's requested it. I'll give it to him, especially since. He is coming to my house later today, which gives me less than eight hours. We're on a bit of a time crunch. Now, when deciding which art piece to do, I was originally looking at this picture, um, which I think is quite recognizable of the character Tomi. However, when I looked into this particular art, I realized it wasn't an original Junji Ito. It was a, different artists recreation of a Junji Ito character. But the thing is, I wanted one which wasn't too creepy because like this is gonna stay in my house most likely. I don't really wanna see gore in my house. It, it doesn't really fit with the romance vibe, you know? So I was like looking for something which was Junji Ito, but not too creepy. This. Now I realize it is not fully creepy or anything but i do think it is a rather beautiful image i like the fact that it's really androgynous and also it will bear a massive challenge to me mangakas draw they do not paint it's drawing with like pens and things already said it before but i hate drawing and i also don't have a pen so i am going to paint i can't draw faces these are the two most recent faces I did. Now you may notice something. There's no face. It's blank. There's not a lot of detail going on here, but that's all I've tried to do regarding faces. And this, this is going to be hard. And I have less than eight hours. So we start by flicking through the art book. And what was that? Was that a new project? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, onto the lines, aka the bit that I hate most. And this is where all the problems start. Um, specifically the jawline. The jawline, the face shape, whatever you want to call it. It's, um, I'm constantly rubbing it out and restarting and don't worry, it never gets fixed. Oh, and now we're trying to make sure the eyes are in line. Now all this effort will, in fact, spoilers, uh, come to nothing. Because it's still bad at the end of this. So, um, this is where we're at. The face proportions are throwing me off slightly. I just I can't get face shapes. Face shapes are the most confusing things and I hate doing it. Look at, look at what it looks like now, so you can remember it. And then we'll laugh at the real thing later. Okay, now we're onto the painting, AKA the permanent part of this, because the thing about using black is that it's not subtle. I mean, when you see a bunch of goths at night, you don't go, oh, almost missed them. You can kind of see them. So the problem is that um, all these issues that are arising, you know, the lips being slightly too big, the um, the lines being a bit scruffy, that, that's, that's permanent, that is. Um, can't be fixed. And don't worry about the scratching in the background. That is my cat being a menace. As always. Let the paint dry, had some lunch, found some paint in my hair. We've got five hours left. <laughs> Let's go. Can you see this? Can you see this? Oh, there. And I started painting and the whole thing just went Phew! And I tried to grab it to stop it falling. And then I smudged straight into that eye. Let me tell you, I am not coping well with this. So that was the eyebrow. The eyebrow's meant to be up here. And then I tried to smudge it to make it less thick. So yes, following the eye issue, I did get the real eyebrow on there. And now we're doing the flowers, which honestly might be the best part of this whole thing. Who is this? Because it's not Shinji Ito's character. You may notice the face is a little bit 
Mangerini. Well, that will be because I once again put my hand and my arms on it. This is not the same person. The lips are too juicy. First it was the cathedral being too bootylicious and now it's the lips being too luscious. I have three hours. I think I'm just gonna do the background. Just hope that if I get the background in, if I color it black, it'll... I don't... I don't know. The background might make it look more like the picture. <laughs> One meltdown later and we've just done the details on the hair which actually looks quite cute and now we're doing the background and honestly I do think the background tends to help. Yeah, see, it looks a bit better but I mean it's clearly not the same person that's in the original picture and now we're cutting it out so yeah. Hi Ethan. Hello. <laughs> Last time I did a video you requested something of me. I did. What did you request? Uh, I requested Heather to do a John G. Ito picture. As I explained to the camera earlier, I chose this one. Mm -hmm. It's not the most horror one, but I'm already bad at drawing people and I only did it today. Time constraints, okay. Take notice of the facial proportions. <laughs> so you're, you're truly prepared for what you're about to see. I've memorized it all. Oh wow, that's so good. The best way I can describe it is this is the anime adaption of the manga. Oh, uh, you know what? That could be true, <laughs> couldn't it? <laughs> I can't explain why, but it's given me that vibe. I was painting it and I was like, this just looks like I started painting this particular Thai actor. <laughs> also, I didn't know whether it was a woman or a man. Yeah, I mean, I thought woman, but it is quite unclear actually. I mean, I, I rang, Becky and she was like, why have you made her look like a man? And I was like, <laughs> um, is it a woman? Rating out of 10. Ah, it's a solid, solid, uh, 8.5, 9. Yeah. I'll take that. Gito is a particularly hard artist to copy, so I think he did yeah. a great job overall. I mean, one day I might redo it and do like one of the proper horror ones. Yeah, that would be fun. I didn't do that. With more time. <laughs> With more time. Is there anything you would like to say to the camera? Stay fresh. Stay, Stay fresh. fresh. Stay, Stay fresh. fresh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.